We're constantly running from ourselves in modern society. We're always using distractions to avoid our negative emotions. We use entertainment to avoid ourselves. We use relationships to avoid ourselves. We use work to avoid ourselves. We use productivity to avoid ourselves. We use junk food to avoid ourselves. And why does this even matter? Your negative emotions never go anywhere unless you decide to consciously process them. They literally get stored in your body. So we need to become aware of our coping mechanisms and our avoidance to them so that we can create the time to actually process what is going on inside of us. We need to create time to actually introspect instead of constantly running from ourselves and getting lost in distractions and just reacting to life. So when a negative emotion arises, don't push or pull on the emotion don't resist it don't fight against it don't distract yourself from it instead let go of your control over the emotion let it come out freely whenever you repress and fight against your emotions you're subconsciously telling yourself that this emotion is bad and needs to be avoided and this pattern is keeping it stuck inside of you so you need to let the emotions arise freely and without your need to push them away. When you let go of control, your control over the emotion, don't let go with the intention of making the emotion go away. Let go with the intention of allowing the emotion to come up and be fully seen and felt. This is actually how you process an emotion. You need to learn to get out of your head and move into your body. That's where the emotions actually are. When an emotion arises, it's not in your thought, it's in your body. That's where it is. You have to learn how to feel into your body. A good way to do this is through a mindfulness meditation practice. So the things you have to do are eliminate distractions, practice meditation to consciously process emotions and bring awareness into your body, eat a clean diet that makes you feel clear, and exercise more. These are all really powerful ways to just build clarity inside of you so that you can process emotions consciously. You don't want to scroll on your phone the second you wake up and then react to what's on the news and then go to work and all the cars are honking and you're in this reactive state. You want to be in a conscious state where you are responding to life instead of just reacting to it. So when a negative emotion arises, what are you actually doing? Are you running to Instagram to go scroll? Are you running to the fridge to go eat a bunch of food? Are you just distracting yourself from it? Notice your coping mechanisms, and instead of acting out that pattern, consciously process what's going on inside of you. Your bad habits are byproducts of stored emotions inside of you. They're coping mechanisms so that you never have to process the feeling that is inside of you because you're subconsciously believing that this feeling is bad, it's threatening my survival, and you cannot let it come up because it's a bad thing. It needs to be avoided, which isn't true. The emotion is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with guilt, shame, embarrassment, sadness, grief. Our avoidance of them is the problem. Our aversion to our own selves is the problem. The fact that we don't know how to process an emotion is the problem. Our own lack of emotional intelligence is the problem. So instead of constantly running from yourself through all these distractions, learn to actually be present with yourself feel the emotions in your body and over time this is going to release them it's a conscious and intentional thing you have to do this every day you have to spend time introspecting every day this is a skill so that's it for this video if you need bonus help i'm currently doing one-to-one -one coaching you can book a free call links in the description i have limited spots available talk to you guys later